Hello everyone and welcome back to the screencast series of quick start guide for asset administration. As we saw in the last video, this whole series has been categorized into two parts. One from the perspective of a data provider and second from the perspective of a data consumer. And in the next couple of videos, we will be focusing on the data provider's perspective. Now to start as a data provider or to develop an asset administration shell from the data provider's perspective, there are around six to seven steps. Now, some of these steps are necessary and some of them can be optional in the beginning. In this video, we are going to focus on the first two steps, that is choosing an asset and second, choosing a use case for the asset administration shell. Now for this video, we are going to consider car as an example of the asset. Now in terms of asset administration shell, asset is anything that has an added value to the organization. And uh, thus for this example, we are considering car here. Now the next steps is nothing but choosing a use case. So as a use case, we recommend uh, to start with the digital name plate. Now, digital nameplate, as the name suggests, it is uh, the asset nameplate, which provides more information about the asset itself. And by using the sub model provided by IDTA, um, it provides a standardized structure um, in the language of asset administration shell for this digital nameplate. Now to start with this use case digital nameplate, we can, uh, go to the website of uh, Industrial Digital Twin organization. In the content hub, we can see that there is this A sub models. Now at this page, uh, we can find out all the IDTA published sub models here. Now the one that we are looking for is nothing but the digital nameplate for industrial equipment. I'm using the version 2.0 here. Now, as on the right hand side, we can see there are two options. One is download and second is GitHub. Let's see uh, first download. So when I click on download, what I get is nothing but a specification for this particular submodel template. This document consists of all the textual description about this particular template. Now going back, uh, the second option that we have is the GitHub. So here we are directed to the GitHub repository for the digital nameplate where this uh, submodel template we can see in different formats. For this series of screencast, we are going to use the digital nameplate format for AASX. So the AASX stands for Asset Administration Shell Package File Format. This is nothing but a zip format, which consists of the structure of the Asset Administration Shell, as well as the supplemental files if included. So we are going to click on this and we are going to download this here. So the file gets downloaded. Now to work with this template, to edit this template, we need a tool for it. So where can we find the tool? So uh, if you search by ASX Package Explorer or only Eclipse ASPE, you will find the GitHub repository for the Package Explorer. So Package Explorer is a tool to visualize, to model the asset administration. It has got many other functionalities as well. But for this screencast series, we are going to focus on the modeling functionality of the uh, Package Explorer. Now in this repository, uh, there is a readme file which will give you more information about different functionalities, different features of the package explorer. Uh, it has got the source code as well uh, if you're interested in programming. But for this video, we'll be focusing on the executables of this package explorer. For this, I'm going to uh, select these releases and here I can see the different releases uh, for the package explorer. I'm going to select the latest um, release. And in the end, I can see that there are six different uh, files here. The first two files, uh, which include the Blazor Explorer, uh, it nothing but provides me the web version of the package explorer. 
and the middle two files they are nothing but the windows version of the package explorer in the middle two files as well there are two versions that is a small one and uh, the bigger one so the difference between the two is the plugins so for this uh, tutorial we are going to use this package explorer the bigger one which is around 340 mbs so to save us some time i have already downloaded uh, this bigger version of the package explorer so as you can see here um it gets downloaded into the zip format and we when we extract it um, i can see all the resources or binaries included in the package explorer what we are interested in uh, is the application file so when i double click on this the package explorer gets opened up now uh, for those who are new to the package explorer let's have a quick information about this package explorer but let's first open the digital nameplate file that we have just downloaded so let's go to file open and let's open up this downloaded template here so as we can see uh, in the package explorer there are three different columns or panels on the leftmost panel we can see the pictorial depiction of the asset administration shell in the middle panel we can see a tree like structure with which we can actually navigate through the whole structure of the asset administration shell and if i have to know more about any particular element i can select the one and i can see the additional information on the right hand side panel so this was all about um, how basically to get started with the nameplate and in this tutorial we have seen the first two steps that is how to choose an asset and uh, to choose a use case as well as uh, in the digital nameplate and how basically to get started with the digital nameplate uh, or how to visualize it in a tool or how it looks like in the asset administration shell format in the next video we will be focusing or we will be continuing this work and we will be modeling this digital nameplate further with respect to car so if you are interested in the modeling of uh, this particular digital nameplate of a car then stay tuned to the next video thank you